Bhagavad Gita, verse 2.14 O son of Kunti, when the senses come in contact with the sense objects, one experiences cold, heat, happiness and distress. Such experiences are flickery and temporary, and therefore, O Bharata, you must tolerate them. Sar Ardavarshini Arjuna may tell Krishna, what you have said is true, yet the senseless mind of an indiscriminate person like me, which is covered by grief and lamentation, is merely a source of misery. And it is not only the mind that produces misery. The senses, such as touch, which experience their respective sense objects through the impressions of the mind, also become a cause of trouble. For this reason, Krishna says, Matra, indicating the sense objects that are accepted by the senses. The experience of such sense objects is called sparshaha. Sri Bhagavan explains, Shitoshnaha agamaya pi naha. Although cold water gives pleasure in the summer, that same water causes distress in the winter. Therefore, knowing the experience of sense objects to be temporary and flickery, one should tolerate them. To tolerate them is an obligation prescribed in the scriptures. Taking bath is troublesome in the month of Maga, the winter month of January-February. In spite of this, one is not supposed to give up the obligatory routine of bathing as enjoined in the scripture. Similarly, those same persons, one's brother, son, etc., who give happiness both when they are born and when they earn wealth, give pain at the time of their death, knowing such happiness and distress to be temporary and flickery. You should tolerate them. You cannot give up your prescribed duty of fighting in the battle on the plea of having affection for such relatives. It is definitely a cause of great disturbance to give up one's duty that has been recommended in the scriptures. <laughs>